The painting I'm going to tackle today is the iconic Elendonan Castle. And here's a picture that we have that I'm going to use as a reference. This will be a challenge, there's no doubt about that. But um, if we take it stage at a time, we'll have a sketch, block it in, and then add the detail. To do the sketch, start with the waterline. So I would suggest that you, from the left hand side, come in about two inches and from the bottom go up about three inches and that will give you a starting point. So just carry on, make a horizontal line straight along to the far end of the right hand side of the page. Then come back and start to sketch in the bank. As you'll see, the uh, castle has a quite a lot of um, parts, uh, particularly on the right hand side. There's little turrets and windows and windows on the roof. Don't be too fussed about that. Um, we're not going to be able to put all the detail in. So first we're going to tackle the sky and it's going to be mainly a, a loose wash of cobalt blue. So let's come along the top okay. and as we come down a bit I'm going to leave some bits for the clouds. Can you soften the colour down at the horizon? I've just added some water to reduce the tonal value a bit. That's, that's okay. Next, I'll tackle the hills on the left hand side here. And I'm using a, a bluish green mixture, some cobalt blue and a little bit of yellow ochre. I'm just leaving some bits in the centre just now. You'll see that um, I'm now starting to add some yellow ochre in here with the bluey greeny colour. And why I'm doing that is to suggest a bit of light up in the hills. The light is coming from the left hand side. So when this all dries, it uh, gives us quite a nice. Um, part of the painting with the, the light hitting the top of certain bits of the hills. Next I'm going to tackle the castle, the walls, and I've mixed up a, a nice rich colour, stone colour, to paint in the walls. Okay. 
just, uh, just paint straight over the, uh, the entire castle walls. Don't try and protect any parts or windows, turrets, etc. We'll paint that in later. I'm just going to lighten some bits by pulling some of the paint out on the ends. Right, I'll do it. While that paint for the walls is still wet, I'm going to just drop in some slightly darker bits. I just want to go over to the island here on the left, which is closer, and I've mixed up a, a darker green, just to bring it forward a bit. And I'll just cover it in. So I'm going to paint the roof. The one on the left is more red than the other one. So I've put this loose value in. <coughs> to move down now to the grass in front of the castle and behind the bridge. So a nice bright green. Just carry on painting with the bright green colour um, along the bank area and up into the the green behind the uh, the bridge. You'll see that um, while I'm doing the bank, the, the green and the brown areas, I'm leaving some bits of paper, quite like some bits of white uh, shining through in bits. It makes it quite attractive. You'll notice that I've quickly painted in the water part. Started at the top where the hills are, worked my way down. I left out the uh, area for the reflections and I've quickly painted that in with a stony colour and uh, you can see that I'm adding the green to what reflect what's above in the bank area. and. Um, Having the reflection parts for the stones, the trees, uh, and the edge of the, the water. So that it's almost like a mirror image uh, that we have. What's above is now reflecting below. Let's want to darken some of the reflections a bit. Just these dark edges here. So I'm just mixing up a slightly darker brown and uh, 
and just drop these in. I'm going to start on the top part of the painting in the castle area doing some detail. Normally I'll leave that to the end but um, with this big reflection area here it's quite tricky. There's a lot of bits we need to get in before we can start doing that so I'm going to crack on. I've mixed up a, a dark grey colour and I'm going to put the windows doors, chimneys, etc. So I've got a uh, fine rigger brush here and I've got a, a grey mixed up and you can see I'm putting in shadows and bits of chimneys, painting in under the roof. I'm painting in windows very quickly just to suggest the windows are there and I'm going to work my way along top of the walls and into the little turrets and windows and doors on the, on the right hand side. So you can see that um, I'm painting these uh, parts on the right hand part of the castle very quickly. Um, try to, to do this, don't get bogged down too much uh, individual parts and in detail. So you can see now that um, I'm adding some detail to the, to the bridge on the right hand side and um, adding some stones in the water here. Uh, which now you'll start to see is uh, definitely giving the, the water line uh, there a feel for where the bank is and where the refle reflections start. I'm just um, painting the underside of the bridge on the right. So I'm just tidying up the reflection areas in the water at the bank. I'm just trying to make sure I've got most of it in before I come to start painting the, the water. Now you'll see that I've um, added some detail to the water. Um, and I'm going to use a technique that um, I use with a big flat brush where you actually squeeze the water out and use the very, very fine edge to take out some of the paint. And you're left with these nice white lines which um, helps to give the water a feel and it puts the reflection down into the water rather than sitting on top. So I'm just going to carry on and do some more of these, especially across the darker bits of the reflection. I'm going to use some white gouache. I don't really use a lot of white, but there are occasions and I'm just going to put some nice lines on top of these bits that are washed out. So I'm just going to carry on and do one or two more of these uh, white 
strokes with the fine rigor brush and that will help to finish off the reflections. The bottom part of the water was done using a big round brush and I mixed up a slightly darker cobalt blue and just put in one or two uh, areas in the bottoms to suggest movement in the water. So here's the uh, finished painting and as I said at the beginning it was quite a challenge but hopefully the demonstration here will help you enjoy and have a go at Elam Donan Castle.